are. There have been angry scenes. There have been demonstrations. There has been a huge police presence. Well, there wasn't a huge police presence yesterday. That was part of the problem. You know, the police let the mob run wild. And I think it is very sad that um, a, a hostile mob out there, which is organised and paid for, partly with taxpayers' money, by Labour Party councils, and is backed by yeah, MPs well, from all the main parties, including David Cameron, yeah, yeah, is allowed to get away with this level of mob violence on the streets of Britain in 2009. Is this how you expected to have to conduct your campaign once you became elected? Uh, I think that you know, we're here for five years, myself in uh, the North West and Andrew Bronze in, in Yorkshire, it's five years. I think that the mob will get tired of this and I hope very much that the mainstream politicians will realise they're playing a very dangerous game here because a mob like this causing trouble here, it's one of those things. On College Green it's one of those things. But I've got to go and visit constituents in places like Preston and Burnley and Blackburn and Andrew has to go into places like Bradford. Uh, and the police and the British political establishment have to grip, get a grip on these people and make it clear that everyone's entitled to a peaceful protest as noisily as they like. But once they start throwing eggs and bricks as they were yesterday, something's got to be done and it's got to be stopped. So far it has all been about protests. Are we going to talk about policies today? We certainly are. What are you going to tell us? Uh, that has to wait for the British government. But, but what policies are you going to talk to us about? Uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, what I'm going to be taking first of all to Europe uh, and one of the points which is totally off uh, what will be expected uh, is uh, the campaign we're going to be running to expose the corporations and the politicians who've together organised the looting of Britain by turning our public services into private profit. Just finally, there's been um, quite a few media outlets that have been denied access here today. You've turned away quite a few channels and papers. Why is that? Uh, I know that we've turned away the Manchester Evening News uh, because in the course of this campaign it ran a horrific vicious campaign against us, particularly repeating the lie that we, we wanted to expel Gurkhas here looking after old chaps who fought for this country in the war. It's a vicious lie. We're not prepared to deal with newspapers who deal with that kind of lie when they know they're lying. But isn't it up to their readers to decide what they want to believe? Isn't it? Would it make more sense to allow them in to listen to what you have to no, say? It's, the, the editor has been told repeatedly it was his choice to continue telling lies about the British National Party and our position on the Gurkhas. That was his choice to carry on lying. It's our choice to therefore exclude him from this track. Conference. Thank you. Right, Nick, it is uh, Wednesday afternoon. We just had a spectacularly successful press conference. You've avoided the eggs, I see, this time. Um, the middle of Manchester, right in the middle of your constituency. A big press pack all around you. I thought you won them over completely. How do you think it went? I think it quite, went quite well. I mean, obviously, we had all the usual silly questions and predictable questions, and one or two slightly more, more intelligent ones, I mm. think. Um, so I don't know what they came expecting, but yeah. they got you know what we are, mm. and as you say, I think it went very well. It's mm. passed off peacefully. It absolutely proves that we're not the trouble. You know, it's the people who are outside and were there mm. uh, causing trouble in College Green last uh, yesterday. It's the only press conference I've seen where they ran out of questions, didn't they? We gave them about an hour and a half, and they just ran out of questions in the end, didn't they? Well, I can out talk anyone, Simon. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Right. That's true enough. True enough. Well, first of many, I think. Yeah. First of many, we've turned a few heads here and two days, maybe three days into your election and you're certainly making your mark. Well, they can't say we, dod we dodged, dodged any questions, mm -hmm. can they? Uh, you know, we've introduced uh, Tina to them, who's going to be in charge of the mm -hmm. constituency operation here uh, you know, for our constituents. And uh, it's another press call, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, there's no end to it. I've been, I've been with you, as you know, you know all this morning. Yeah. Uh, absolutely manic on your phones, yeah. uh, all from the press. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it will continue. I do hope, as I said, to, in response to one of the questions, I hope it will you know, slow down because there's work to be done out there for yeah. the constituents. Uh, and I hope very much that the, the police get a grip on the protesters and make sure that all they do is protest, yeah. that they in turn get bored of the idea of doing this for the next five years. Mm -hmm. And probably the, the key to this is whether the media will start to report things sensibly, whether they'll carry on sensationalising things. Yeah. And if they sensationalise a visit by me to Preston, or a visit from Andrew Bronze to Bradford, then it could be really serious trouble. Mm -hmm. So they need to calm down and start getting responsible. And uh, you know, the political elite, people like David Cameron, mm -hmm. need to say, right, all they've got to do to stop that mob doing what they're doing is yeah. to say, look, fellas, this is bad, it's not working, it's helping the BNP, just mm. lay off it. And I hope very much that, not for our sake, but for the sake of the whole British political system and democracy, mm. I hope now that that's an end to that sort of nonsense and we can carry on from here. Yeah, me too. Simon Darby for BNP TV in the middle of Manchester with Nick Griffin, MEP.